Saja to brytyjski producent muzyczny, który od czterech lat mieszka w Berlinie. W 2009 roku zaczął oficjalnie wydawać muzykę pod banderą Hot Flash Recordings, wytwórni muzycznej prowadzonej przez Skubę. Na swoim koncie ma remiksy dla takich artystów jak Tommy47, Oscar Mulero czy chociażby Peter Van Hosen. Artysta kilkukrotnie gościł w Polsce, w tym podczas World Wide Warsaw Festival, gdzie występował na jednej scenie wraz z Terencem Fixmerem. Od wydania jego ostatniego albumu minęły prawie 4 lata, ale już 24 lutego ukaże się nowy – Metabolizm. Posłuchajcie, jak długo nad nim pracował i co było jego główną inspiracją. I've been working on an album for a couple of years, but um, it didn't really start to take shape or the shape it ended up assuming until I um, got together with Chris at the start of last year now and uh, played him a few tracks and uh, signed the album to Token. So I, I suppose between two years, a year, depending on how you want to look at the actual project. Um, the remixes will come later. I mean, we've spoken about doing remixes. There's definitely artists that I would like to get involved, but right now the focus is on getting the album out, and that, that's, that's been the main priority. Like 95% of the album was made on, on my modular synth, uh, synthesizer. I mean, that's been massively influential for me, getting into modular and building a system over the last kind of like three and a half years. Like a good 95% of the, the sounds on the album came from that. Um, and then I used other bits of kit like the analog rhythm, micro brute, a various other kind of um, small, small synths. But modular is the main, the main kind of sound source for me these days. I've known Chris for quite a long time actually. We've been in touch for a good five, six years in some capacity, and um, I've always enjoyed what Token has put out. A few years ago, we spoke about the possibility of maybe um, me sending him some tracks for a release. When I finally finished A Better Way of Living and Our Father, they just kind of felt like they were right tracks for Token. So I sent them through and it was the easiest 12 I'd ever signed, basically. Like, he was totally into them. It was uh, very smooth and it just kind of built from there, the working relationship. Um, not really. A fair few people have actually been asking me about this. Um, and I always say that the label isn't stopped, it's just on a break. Um, I've been focusing on the album, like I say, that's, that's taken quite a while to come together and focusing on, I guess, finding a new path for myself musically and production wise. Um, and that's, that's taken up all of my creative energy and I just wanted to make sure that that got the, the maximum amount of attention it deserved. And I think maybe next year the label will kind of like kick up again. It's definitely not stopped, it's just on hiatus. <laughs> I think Poland's a really, really, uh, really strong place to go and play. I feel like the, the techno scene there's growing and I feel like when I go there, the crowd is a nice mixture of people who are there to party, but also people who understand what you're playing and understand why you're playing, how you play. And it's, it's quite rare to go away and find that kind of, that, that mixture of energies in a crowd. It's kind of what you look for, I feel like, as a DJ. So it's, it's really nice to play there.